Hello and welcome back and that is right today we're going to do another round of audio testing we're looking at this probably one of the most popular NASs in the last few years the Synology DS920 and I want you to understand how much noise this system can and cannot make and in today's video I'm going to be utilizing SSDs I'm going to be utilizing traditional NAS hard drives and I'm going to be using data center class hard drives in order to demonstrate how much noise this system can make in different operational environments now for those that aren't aware when it comes to putting drives inside your NAS, and again, this, the DS920 being a four-bay SATA system, the drives you make will actually impact and affect the noise generated quite significantly. Now, most hard drives are designed like this. They are typical like metal hard drives like this. They're formed of multiple platters inside that spin very, very quickly with all of your data inside being gathered via an index that's stored inside the drive where it knows where the data lives. Now, during that time, there's a little arm known as an actuator that's flicking around, reading that drive inside, gathering your data. And the bigger the drives are, the more platters are inside, and the harder that actuator has to work there. This isn't something that happens with SSDs. SSDs are generally comprised of a PCB full of um, little chips and boards on side there, and there's no moving parts. They don't make much noise. So you'd think, well, if I stick SSDs inside this system, it would be absolutely silent it won't be because NASes have fans and the more they work the hotter they get and they're on for 24 7 it means those fans can slightly increase so it's worth knowing the difference between the noise this system can make with different storage media types and before anyone says it in the comments I'm well aware there are some guides online where you can install foam and friction pads inside the individual bays to limit a lot of that noise this video is not so much about the vibration of the system it is more about the drives you install and how that in conjunction with the system can make all of the difference now a few disclaimers straight off the bat as we go through these we're going to be looking at three different situations we're going to be looking at boot noise when you turn the device on for the first time how much noise is generated from 2.5 inch ssds traditional hard drives and enterprise level hard drives then we're going to be looking at how much noise the system generates when the drives are idle idle being defined as the drives not being accessed and in a low spin down state the system network light might be flicking around there but that's really just external access or pinging different servers it's not going to be using the drives the third test is going to be heavy access 4k random iops on a benchmark happening to the drives the result is at that point rather than sequential data which although does make the drives work a little harder it is still sequential big data it doesn't have to work as hard using 4k random means all the platters and the actuator are going nuts inside trying to read the whole thing it will result in the drive having to work as hard as it's probably ever going to work and therefore give you an understanding of what peak noise is going to be like a number of you may also have noticed there's only two of each drive here on the table in order for parity i could have tried fully populating this drive uh, this system but i didn't have four of each of these drives here so i wanted to stick with two and take my word for it the result with two or four is only a slight increase of difference and the overall point i'm trying to make will still be clear for you there next thing to talk about a lot of disclaimers aren't there um when we run our tests on this system it's worth mentioning that i'm going to increase the volume of the recordings that is the the overall recorded db 50 percent when these uh when you do hear these i'm doing this so you can identify the noise differences between them so although you're going to hear a hiss a s in the background that's because that volume has been increased to help you hear those noises. It's also worth highlighting that no room is truly silent outside of a professional recording studio that's phoned to hell. The result is that this office, much like your office or your home, has background noise. Birds in the sky. Birds in the sky. There are cars, there is traffic, there are other offices. There is ambient noise of PCs and bleeps and blobs and all the electronica around us. I can't remove that and it will be reflected on the db panel on one side of the screen during this recording so do bear that in mind now when i do the db reading there do remember that when you hear a noise or a click and hum off the word of the drive it will take between a third and a half a second for it to be reflected on the db monitor it won't be parity level immediately so do stay tuned for that there may be a slight delay between the noise you hear 
and it reflecting on the chart but it will be reflected on the chart and give you some idea about the difference between all of these in operation here in the DS920. The last disclaimer, I've done a lot of these audio tests already in the past and the general consensus is you guys do not want me to give it all that over the top of it. So what I'm going to do shortly is begin the recordings of the different audio drives and stuff inside the 920 here for you and I'm not going to speak over them. There'll be a bit of on-screen text but it's going to be pure background noise for you guys to listen to there and the drive noise and then at the end I'll chuck on an end of video like and subscribe etc. But apart from that this is the last you'll hear of me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, do enjoy this. I mean it's a very niche topic I'll be honest. This might be the dullest video I've ever put out. You guys tell me. But let's go on with the audio recordings and the different kinds of sound that these drives make in this, the Synology 920. Let's roll those tests. D test. Four TB WD Red. Ultra Star.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these sound series videos. I know they can be incredibly tedious just listening to near enough silence and a few clicks, but a lot of you have requested this series. If you have enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to learn more, click subscribe. Take advantage of the free advice section over on NAS Compares. Uh, other than that, have a great week. Have a great weekend. Have a great year, and I'll see you next time.